beer review time once again and it's a little, something a little bit different we've got a few beers to review from the Western Brewery um, these have come all round about because I did a review for um, Beers of Europe the UK and it was a review of their Hop Rocket beer which was absolutely fantastic beer um, I have actually had some of their other beers like I said that in my other review as well and absolutely loved them they reached out and said, you know, would I like to review some of their other beers? And they sent me a case of beers down. So we've got a few to review from them, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. But for this one, it's going to be, get out to focus on, the British Bulldog. And then I'll uh, tell you a little bit about it. It says, British Bulldog is a full bodied, best bitter in the Kentish style, packed full of Kent hops to give the ale its distinct aroma and satisfying flavour. Recultured yeast from the original Black Eagle Brewery recreates the flavours of Western Owls as they were enjoyed by Sir Winston Churchill. I'm gonna crack into this. Nice golden kind of ambery colour coming out there. Careful because there is bottle condition. I'm going to cut it a little bit short there. And one thing I've got to mention, I think I forgot to mention it with the, the last beer as well, is that I'm pretty sure it's all the range, but at least I'll point it out anyway for each bottle, but that this beer is gluten free. And um, some gluten free beers I've had before have kind of been a bit, a bit lacking something. I don't know, they kind of, to make them gluten free, I'm, I'm I don't know if it's, it strips something else out of it, but some of the beers I've had in the past like that haven't been that great. But I've got to admit, every beer that I've had from Western Brewery has been fantastic, so I've no doubt this is going to be a, a cracking pint. I'm not biased or anything, but their beers are, you know, bang on. Oh. That's lovely. It's a, it's a Sunday afternoon stroke, early evening here, and that's a true kind of a Sunday afternoon bitter that you could kind of quaff and session all afternoon. 4.3%, nice big 500ml bottle, tastes absolutely fantastic, it's just everything you want. Silky smooth on the tongue, just the right amount of bitterness on the end. No kind of crazy American hops, it's all kind of your, your English ones that are just giving you that nice rounded bitterness. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to read a little bit more, it says on the bottom. It says, renowned for producing fine pale ales for nearly 300 years, the town of Westerham is where Sir Winston Churchill made his family home. For over 40 years, Sir Winston enjoyed his country retreat and said a day away from Chartwell is a day wasted. Churchill's indomitable fighting spirit carried Great Britain through the darkest days of World War II and earned him the nickname British Bulldog by Joseph Stalin. And that's why, hence the beer name British Bulldog. Fantastic Kentish hops at their best in this. Hmm. I'd love to try that on, uh, on cask in a pub. I'm sure it's even more fantastic than it is at all. It's beautiful, it really is nice. Tiny, very tiny amount of little sweetness on the back end though, but not overly, it's just, just right. Much paler here than it looks on the camera, It always, it's always the case. Looks, yeah I'd say a, at least a couple of shades lighter in the flesh than it does on the camera there. Fantastic. Mm. Perfect. And if you haven't had any of the Western beers at all, I mean, if you see one, grab grab one of them. I mean, I haven't been disappointed by any, but this has been British Bulldog. Go and get yourself a bottle. Cheers.